Well, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yes. You had a good time so far, right? Yes, absolutely. Well, this next guest, I am so excited that she's here with us today, aren't you? I'm very excited. Oh, this young lady was born in Kirksville, Missouri, where she began playing her music at a very early age with her family called the Sally Mountain Show. It was then that this musical genius began capturing the hearts of the people all over the world, mm -hmm. and especially mine. I know it. Did she capture yours? Amen. Oh, Amen. yeah. Amen. She's Beautiful graced lady. the stage and sang with so many great people across the country and in the, in the country music industry. She's won numerous awards, Bluegrass International Association Awards. She's won, uh, been nominated actually for seven Grammys. Wow. And her band, The Rage, right. they won a, a Grammy in 2021. She was inducted into the Grand Ole Opry. Wow. Man, I, I'm just trying to sing on the <laughs> stage. She was inducted, right? <laughs> yeah, and, and her band, The Rage, is, is considered some of the best musicians in bluegrass. Right. Her band and her herself has been uh, titled Gifted, Magnificent. Simply the best of what they do. Oh, they I, are. I like that. And they are. I wish I was the best of what I did. Am I the best of being your husband? You're good. Right? You're awesome. Okay. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> yes, again, nominated for seven Grammys. Right. This artist and her band has won a Grammy for Best, best Bluegrass, Bluegrass Group. I thought I'd say that again. Amen. She's also recorded with artists like Dolly Parton, Daryl Singletary, Faith Hill, Faith the Hill. Isaacs, and even Carl Ray. How about that? <laughs> this talented singer, musician, actor has deep roots in bluegrass gospel, traditional country music. Her love for people, her passion to inspire shines through every note she sings and every chord she plays, every song she sings. This special lady is rooted in real, but most importantly, she is a child of God. Amen. She joins us today on Atlanta Live to talk about her new album, Music Is What I See. Please welcome the queen of bluegrass, Rhonda Vincent. Hey! Yay. Hey, everybody! <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Well, my wrong introduction. <laughs> we couldn't even get it all in, but we tried. <laughs> oh, thank you. I didn't read half of it, Ron. I'm so nervous just to be in here with you this morning. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, so tell us what's going on with you. I know you've got a great oh, yeah. project out, and we want to spend a lot of time talking about that because I love this project, and we want to hear more about it. Well, it's so exciting. It features my band on most every song. There's only a couple of guests. The Isaacs joined me on the very last song, one of my favorite gospel groups of all times. Uh, we sing a song called There's a Record Book. And uh, you, were, you were saying, I've discovered this song actually by listening to Real Roots Radio. And it hit me. The, the Holy Spirit just, just took a hold of me. I got on, I looked up the lyrics and I got on a Facebook Live immediately and sang this song. And I was just crying and it's it just... I love, love, love the song. So it was thrilled to get to record it with the Isaacs. Tim Rabin is another guest. Uh, from, oh, awesome. Uh, he's the brother of Marty Rabin's, but yes. it features the band. There are classic songs. There's a there's a thread to the Grand Ole Opry. Uh, the very first song was written and recorded by Porter Wagner in 1972. Uh, there's another song called Slowly that Webb Pierce, uh, he wrote it and uh, recorded it. And uh, you know what? I need to find out the year. And then there's Ginny Seeley. Uh, she wrote a brand new song that I found totally by accident riding around Nashville in the car and she starts singing it to me. I said, I love this song. I just love singing it. It's called Like I Could. So there are new songs. Ooh. There are classic songs. And there's now there's a song, the, the song Unchained Melody. Yeah, oh yeah. I, it's the very first ever recorded version of bluegrass version of Unchained Melody. Oh, that wow. song took me 12 hours to sing it. I, I sang it for six hours one night. It still wasn't where we thought it should be. And I sang another six hours the very next day. So um, wow. I'm a little, I have to say, I'm, I'm a bit nervous about singing it live. If it took that long to record, <laughs> am I going to be able to sing this? <laughs> you will. You're a pro uh, at it you, now. You're a pro you'll now. You'll be just fine. <laughs> trust, trust me, you'll be just fine. Is there a favorite, <laughs> is, is there a favorite song on the, al on the album that you love? Is there one? You know, the title song is called Music Is What I See. Music's What I See, the, t the title of the album. I love and that. I, I, lo I wanted to sing that on my induction night at the Grand Ole Opry. Oh, um, wow. It is uh, because it says God is great and God is good to me. Mm. Yes. And it just, 
it, it, it's so visual. The writer lives in Athens, Georgia, uh, Mike Deakle. Oh, and wow. I love his writing and I love his singing. And I'm, I'm so thrilled. He shared that song with me and then I got to record it. And, and I, that's, I think that's probably my favorite, but I love them all or I wouldn't have recorded it. So, right. uh, so many great songs, really some hard driving bluegrass that I wanted to do something too, that it would really showcase the skill of, of this band. They're a world-class band yeah. all at the very top of their game. So uh, there's some really uh, hot picking on there from the yeah. guides. Uh, and then there's the, the slow ballads, the gospel songs. There's an, even, we did a, a new arrangement of a song you've probably heard before called Everybody Will Be Happy Over There. Yeah, oh, oh absolutely. And awesome. It's, um, absolutely. It's a little bit of everything yeah, that's what I was for everybody say. on this album, yeah. right? Yeah. Something yes. for everybody, yes. Yeah, and so there's no reason why they shouldn't go to your website or, or go online right. and buy this record today, not tomorrow. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we don't have tomorrow, yesterday is gone. Right. All we have is right now. So as soon as you hear this request, go and buy those that record. Yes, right. And you can get it at you can get it at rondavinson.com. And if you don't have a CD, you know the CD's out and it's all in all of the music formats. But we have something very unique. We have a, a little USB drive. People said we don't have a CD player in our car anymore, so we right. created this. It's a replica of my mandolin, only oh. it's a USB drive. Oh, so you, you can that? only get that at our show or at rondavinson.com, so check that out. That All is right. so cool. And by the way, if you <laughs> want to see Rhonda, she, if you go to her website as well, she's got dates listed all over the country, all over the country. That's right. Yeah. So. Well, well, I have a question for you. With everything that's been going on in the world today, uh, did you feel like this was something that you wanted to put out there just as an inspiration and encouragement to people right now? with all that's well, going I was, on? I had started it before. I think, uh, you know, the situation we were in allowed me to take my time. I spent yeah. two years on this album because, you know, I, I when we were sitting at home, it's like, this is not a good time to release it. Uh -huh. But it really allowed us to, to really create, take our time creating it and oh, making awesome. it exactly what we wanted to be. I have never spent two years recording an album wow. before. But, you know, with, with the, the gaps in between, but so thrilled that I was able to, you know, to spend that time making it what I, we wanted to be. You know, like just the pictures alone. So I took almost every day of uh, the summer of 2020. I mean, what else are we going to do? Right. I would get <laughs> right. dressed up. And my husband and I would go out to where we live at the Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri, or we just went everywhere. We took over nine Thousand photos. Wow! Before. What? <laughs> That's there are nine thousand photos. <laughs> That is so awesome. You got to do something with those photos. Don't throw them, you know, there's a record there. You got to do something with those photos. Well, it's like we can, but then there were too many. We couldn't choose what the cover oh, should be. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was like, now what are we going to do? He's like, no, 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 no. You don't want that. Or he's like, yes, you want this. It's got, it's like, Anyway, it took a while. There's 9,000. There was a lot of time spent. There's 9,000 photos, 12 hours on oh, wow. Unchained Melody. And and then the, the song, the, the quarantine song, I Ain't Been Nowhere. Yeah, right. I love that song. I, 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 crack, I cracked up. I cracked up when I heard it. It was cool. It was so cool. Well, I thought, I'm never going to memorize this. I'm singing it on the Grand Ole Opry. We're singing it at the show's 392 words. I finally sang it. Uh, recently on the Grand Ole Opry without any help of a teleprompter or my phone or anything. So finally I got it uh, memorized. But can you do it backwards, Warren? Can you do it backwards? Uh, do it backwards. Uh, oh, God. Oh, so awesome tell me. But you know what? I can't, have you ever sang, um, she'll be coming around the mountain? You know, she'll be coming. She'll be, be she mountain around the coming time. She win, be she mountain around the coming time. She win, be she mountain. I can't sing that one. Sort of you can't. <laughs> hey, that's a, that's a new oh, thing coming. God. Oh, God. <laughs> Rhonda. That's hilarious. So tell me, Rhonda, how is, how is growing up in your family, how did that really shape who you became as a, as a mother, as a woman? Yes. As, as a, a sister, mm -hmm. as a friend, and your music? Well, that's, you know, that's what we did. It, it was traced back five generations. My daughter, Sally, now continues the sixth generation of music wow. in the Vincent family. Wow. And it, it was it was not like a hobby. It was 
the, a way of life. It was just born and bred into us. As soon as you were able to sing, I started singing at three. I joined the Sally Mountain Show at five. That's how we got the name. Instead of the Vincent family, yes. we were the Sally Mountain Show because we had a TV show when I was five years old. Wow. And, and it was a geographic location up in northern Missouri, which everyone was familiar with. So it was my mom and dad, grandpa, aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends. So it was this huge group of us. As soon as you, you know, I started singing at six, I got a snare drum. I started, I was the drummer <laughs> wow. uh, of the Sally Mountain Show. So you just, my yeah. dad picked me up from school every day and we played and sang until dinner and after dinner friends came over and we, there was a music party at our house oh, wow. every night that so sounds incredible. It, was a, it was a way of life oh that is that so, is so beautiful beautiful, that is beautiful and even as you know your music has grown and transformed and encouraged and inspired people all over the world how have you balanced all of that how have you been able to balance your 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 life with your family, your, you know, as a woman, we need to ask that question. <laughs> well, my, my, family would probably say, my family would probably say I'm off balance and I stay off balance. <laughs> that's you know, the, I, that's I, the secret. <laughs> I, so, you know, my husband, you know, we've been married 37 years and he really is the, he is the um, equalizer, I guess you could say. When, you know, early on, I would get home from the road after we'd play. He'd leave the wood box empty. We had a wood stove at that time. Yeah. Uh, there would be like, I don't know, 13 loads of laundry. And so he, <laughs> he, he found a way to keep me humble, I believe, through all of that. Aww. Well, you know, Gail described you as rooted and real early. And oh, yeah. And that's what yeah. I get from you, Rhonda, that yes. you are not only this incredible queen of bluegrass. Right. You know, but you, you also... Or just you're like the girl next door, or you know, uh -huh. yeah, you, yes. you are that person. Uh, whether you're in the uh, in the uh, suite or the street, right? Right. You, right. You are oh, the I same. like that. <laughs> you are the same, and so yes, yes. we're just so gracious and hu graciously humbled by you being here today. And uh, so, what would your brother Darren Vincent? <laughs> how do you describe Rhonda Vincent? <laughs> Uh, oh, I don't know. He's, you know how brothers and sisters are. I don't yeah, think you can ask me. I'm okay. the one who changes diapers, oh. and he's the one who me in trouble. Now, <laughs> oh, let and me it's the tell same you. Way. <laughs> right. Hasn't changed, right? Hasn't changed. Yeah. So, where are you? Where are you going next? What, what we can? What can we expect from Rhonda Vincent next? We have appearances on the Grand Ole Opry. Okay. Uh, we're, we're just lucky. We're just so thrilled. to. We're gearing things up. We'll be on the road, um, you know, traveling coast to coast. We even just received a re, um, an invitation to perform in Switzerland. Oh, so, wonderful. It, it, it's Stad, wow. Switzerland, one of the most beautiful places. When I went over there the very first time, they it was, it was part of the contract. We took this gondola up the mountain and we got there. It was so tall, we had to get on another one to go up even higher. And when we got up there, we looked across and you could see the Matterhorn. Oh. So I am excited to get oh to go back. It is goodness. one of the most beautiful places. But, you know, I, I, we love traveling in our uh, our Bluegrass Express. Um, like to, I like to keep my feet on the ground, I would say. So oh. we're, we're excited <laughs> to get on the road. Uh, we have a brand, we have a couple of new members in the group, and they are bringing this just a fresh approach. I'm so excited. Uh, Zach is is brand new he's only 20 and and he's so sweet and <laughs> his father's a preacher his girlfriend's father is a preacher and he's just he brings this just sweetness and a, and a new just a new approach for us so i'm very excited about that too oh how oh, awesome. great and so what, what would you say to those people who are out there Rhonda, who are watching you who are saying man i i wish i could do that i wish i could be this or i wish i could be that but i'm just not sure I have what it takes and I, I, I just don't know. What would you say to encourage those people? I had a young man come up to me uh, just a couple of nights ago and asked me that, what can I do? I like to sing. And, and I just told him to take every opportunity to sing because you have to, you can't just, a lot of people these days, it's just like instantaneous. You just wanna, I wanna get out here and I wanna have a tour bus and I wanna have a career. And it, it, it can, sometimes it can happen like that, but very rarely, first of all, you have to perfect your craft. Sing, play, perform. You and this a, a good lesson that I was taught is like you practice at home, and then you get together with the other people, and that's when you rehearse. Uh, it's like I never nice. heard it put like that because nice. I said, "Oh, we're going to practice." He goes, "No, no, you <laughs> practice at home. We're here to rehearse." So, uh, 
I think it's knowing, you know, have, knowing your, you know, your skill well enough that you have the confidence that, you know, wherever you're going to play, there's Opry's, you know, there's smaller Opry's, there's nursing homes. My father, we played the nursing home every, every uh, month. And so you can find local places to sing and then maybe branch out a little bit. So, right. but there's right. no, there's no replacement for experience and being able to, to sing and play and not just at your house, but in mm. front of people right. and be careful that, you know what, your family loves everything you do. <laughs> Once you get out in front of other people, they're pretty brutally honest. So you'll hey, find man. out right away if this is meant for you or not. Oh, well, you tell us again where they can you. go and yes. hear your music. What's your website again, Rhonda? RhondaVincent.com and send me a message. I have a message board there because, you know, there are scammers out there and they think they're talking to me in other oh. formats on Facebook and other places. So don't believe any of those. You know, <laughs> you've got to have that verified check mark right. on, the, on the, the social sites. But go to RhondaVincent.com. Our tour dates are there. You can get all of our music, our T-shirts, hats, all of that sort of thing. And there's a message board if you want to send a, a message and know for sure that it's coming to me. Great. Well, Thank Rhonda, you, Rhonda. We love you. Thank you so much for your time with us today. Yes. And like I said, we love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> God bless you. Oh, God bless you. Thank you so much. Guys. Blessings to you. Thank yeah. you. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>